So we're at Birmingham Industry Station at the minute. We're knocking out two levels of slab to create a big opening, to create a lot of light into the station, a big open area where all the pedestrians can congregate. We've got this excavator specially designed for this job uh, for a couple of reasons. One, we needed an excavator big enough, to, a man enough to do the job, but light enough to be able to operate on very low loading slabs. So we need to get a very heavy attachment onto a very light machine. We also wanted to have it remote controlled for when we do the demolition of the low retail slab, so the excavator will be demolishing below its tracks. So for health and safety reasons, we wanted it to be remote control. We wanted it dual function, so you could also, the operator could still jump in the cab. So this particular attachment and the way it's been um, put together is, is the actual power that it can deliver is the same size as say a 50, 60 tonne machine in a 20 tonne machine. So that's how can, we can get through the structure as quick as it can. We've got a laser beam line that we can set up. So you set it up on an edge where the machine can't track forward. It hits that laser barrier, the machine stops there, it doesn't go over the edge. There is a, um, a little control that comes out the machine on a lead. It's a little stop button. The bandsman can hit the stop button, shuts the machine down, doesn't go anywhere. One of our drivers in particular, a high reach driver, he absolutely loves the machine now. So particularly the remote control aspect, be able to stand outside the machine, walk around what he's demolishing, have a look, demolish it from a different angle. He felt gave him better way to demolish it a lot quicker and a lot safer.